Hello guys, this is the first lesson for differential calculus and this is all about functions. The term function was coined by Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz to indicate the dependence of one quantity on another. So we know that many scientific laws and engineering principles describes how one quantity depends on another. So now, how or when do we consider that a given quantity is a function of another? So it says here that if a variable y depends on a variable x, so we have two variables, x and y, in such a way that each value of x determines exactly one value of y. So, for example, we have a given value of x and with that, uh, there is only one corresponding value of y. Then, we can say that y is a function of x. So, now, let's consider this set of ordered pairs so the ordered pairs are something like the coordinates of a point in the cartesian plane so the first uh, number is for x and then the last uh, the second term is the y so which set of ordered pairs does not represent a function so you can pause the video to for you to think your answer so now the answer is letter C so how come it is not a function so since the value here of negative 2 has two corresponding values of y that is 1 and negative 6 hence uh, it is not a function since it does not satisfy the condition that uh, y is a function of x if there is only one exactly exactly one value of y for a given value of x so now we proceed for the function notation a function f is a rule that associates a unique output with each input. So, yung input natin dito is denoted by x or the independent variable. Then, the output is denoted by f of x. So, this is y. So, for example, we say that height h is a function of h. So, yung notation niya is this one. This expression is read as h is a function of a or h is equal to f of a. So, during your senior high or high school, so, na-discuss na din naman to. Ano? So, konting review lang. And then, we have four methods for representing functions. So, pwede natin siyang i-represent using tables, uh, formulas, graphs, and verbally. So, ito yung example nung table. So, nakalagay dito yung uh, for every value of x, there is a corresponding value of y. And then, algebraically by formula. So, this one. And then, uh, graphically or geometrically so this one using a graph and then uh, let us recall the concept of vertical line test so when do we use this test so a curve in the xy plane is the graph of some function f if and only if no vertical line intersects the curve more than once so, pwede din pala nating ma-identify yung isang 
graph kung siya ba ay function or hindi using the vertical line test. So, yung halimbawa dito is nag-intersect siya at two points. So, meaning, ano yung ibig sabihin nun, um, sa isang value ng x natin, meron tayong dalawang value ng y. So, this is not a function. Ano po? So, next, uh, we have the types of functions, the polynomials, trigonometric, inverse trigonometric, exponential, and logarithmic. So, later on sa mga discussion natin sa uh, differentiate, uh, matatakal natin yung ano-ano uh, ba yung rules for differentiation of each of the following function. So, generally, pwede natin i-classify yung function as even and add functions. So, paano natin masasabing function is an even or add? So, sabi dito, a function f is said to be an even function if f of negative x is equivalent to f of x. And it is said to be an odd function if f of negative x is equivalent to negative f of x. So, para mas maintindihan natin, proceed tayo sa example. So, ito yung statement, ito yung given function. So, f of x is equivalent to x squared. So, pag nagtetest tayo algebraically, para ma-identify natin siya kung siya ay add or even, magpa-plug in lang tayo ng negative x. So, paano nga ulit mag-evaluate ng function? So, yung nandito sa loob ng parenthesis, isa-substitute nyo lang yun dun sa variable sa right side nung equation natin. So, yung x dito, papalitan natin ng negative x. So, kapag sinimplify natin to, this is x squared. Wherein yung value pala nung f of negative x is equivalent lang dun sa original natin. So, it satisfies the condition for an even function. Ano, so, kahit na nagpalit kayo ng value na negative x dun sa original equation nating f of x, bumalik lang siya dun sa dati. So, ganun yung uh, even function. So, paano naman kay add function? So, meron tayo ditong uh, function f of x is equal to x cubed. So, pag nag-plug in tayo ng negative x, so, i-simplify natin yun, nag-result siya into negative x cubed. So, since from the original na f of x, f of x so pag nung nagplug in tayo ng negative x yung negat yung f of x naging na siyang negative f of x so sinatisfy naman niya yung condition natin dito na kapag daw yung isang function ay sinubstitutan ng negative x sa loob so mare-reverse yung sign so ayun sinatisfy naman itong equation na to. So, as you can see, baka magkaroon kayo ng conclusion na pag add function, add din yung exponent. And then, pag even yung function, even din yung exponent or degree nung polynomial or nung equation natin. So, that is not the case. Ano? So, hindi natin pwedeng ibase yung classification niya by its exponent. So, makikita nyo dito sa next example. So, yung pag-identify nung function natin, whether it is add or even, so, magpa-plug in lang tayo ng negative x dun sa original equation. So, ayan. And then, evaluate lang din natin that the equation becomes x squared minus 
x. So, kung i-compare natin to dun sa original equation, so, so, para maklasify siya as even, dapat bumalik lang siya dun sa original equation na x squared plus x. So, hindi siya bumalik dun. Therefore, it is not an even function. So, paano naman siya magiging add? Dapat mabaliktad yung sign nung original equation natin. So, dito, ang nag reverse lang ng sign is for the second term na x. So, yung sign ni x squared is hindi naman na reverse. So, it also doesn't satisfy the condition for add function. So, hence, our conclusion, this function is neither even nor odd. So, yun. So, kahit sabihin natin uh, squared yung degree niya, so, hindi siya even function. So, dun lang natin matitest ano, kung even or odd yung function by plugging in the value of negative x to the original equation. So, another method to evaluate or to classify function as odd or even is by visual inspection. So, ano ba yung nakalagay dito? Kapag daw yung graph mo, graph nung function mo is symmetrical about y-axis, that function is an even function. So, katulad ng example dito, pag um, minirror nyo siya along y-axis, same lang yung kalalabasan niya. Ano po? So, pagdating naman dito kay add function, sabi naman dito, yung fun function is unchanged when rotated 180 degrees about the origin. So, kapag nerotate, nerotate ko tong graph na to at 180 degrees, magiging same lang din yung itsura niya. So, halimbawa, di ba kapag nerotate ko to 90 degrees, ang mangyayari, kapag nerotate ko siya ng 90 degrees, pag ganito lang yung mangyayari. So, ito, mapupunta dito sa second quadrant. So, that is 90 degrees. And then, kapag nerotate ko na siya ng 180 degrees, so, babalik lang siya dun sa same graph niya. So, gamitan natin ng AutoCAD. So, ito yung original equation. So, pag nerotate ko to ng 90 degrees, so, lagay natin 90. Ayan. So, ito yung itsura niya. Naka 90 degrees. Pero, kapag nerotate natin siya ng 180 degrees with respect dun sa origin. So, ayan. 180. So, although nag baliktaran, makikita nyo yung itong blue, andito na sa baba, and then yung green nasa taas na. Although, nagkabaliktaran yung precision niya, pero yung itsura niya, same pa rin. So, ganun yung ganun yung test for the add function. So, magsasabi natin even function siya kapag yung graph is symmetrical about y-axis and even add function naman kapag siya ay symmetrical about the origin. So, let's have a short review about evaluating functions. Yan. If f of x is equal to 1 minus 5x, find f of x plus h minus f of h. So, sa pag-evaluate nito, um, sabi ko nga kanina, yung andito sa loob, uh, papalitan nyo lang. So, dati, function siya ng x. Ngayon, magiging function siya ng f of x plus h. So, yan. Pakita ko yung isa-isa. 
So, ito, yung original, galing sa original equation na ito. So, papalitan natin yung value ng x with the value of x plus h. So, pag sinimplify, ito yung sagot. And then, yung dating f of x, magiging ang f of h. So, that is 1 minus 5h. And then, combining the terms to find the value of this, so, yan, i-substitute lang natin. So, yung negative sign dito is madidistribute sa la lahat ng terms na nasa loob ni f of h. So, that's why negative 1 and then positive or plus 5h na to. So, kapag sinimplify, ito na siya. So, mahalaga na uh, ma-review ninyo, ma-recall ninyo yung process on evaluating function since sa topic na sa next topic natin uh, we're in yung limit ng function naman yung i-discuss natin so that is also related on evaluating the li uh, the value of a function ano so that's all for now thank you